back to the third PTL Open and the quarterfinals. As always, uh, you're joined by me, Sumit, and my new casting partner, top eight finalist, Mr. Aaron D. <laughs> That's me. Thank uh, you for joining us on the stream here. Thank you. Yeah, it's going to be fun. Uh, we have a, an interesting game, it uh, looks like, here. Uh, Guri Boba versus uh, Resistance Beef List. Yeah, so uh, I know you love to play your scum, so why don't you take us through Tim's spicy scum list? Sure. So uh, we have a, a fully loaded Guri mm -hmm. um, with uh, Predator, Collision Detector, Advanced Proton Torpedoes, and Afterburner. So um, already this is a huge difference than the usual loadout. Um, he's got no advanced sensors and yep. no outmaneuver. Yep. Kind of strange. Also, no shield upgrades, nothing like that. So it's nothing an expensive like that. Gurry that's lean on the shielding. It's true. Well, it's four points more than just uh, afterburners. Um, sorry, uh, than just outmaneuver uh, advanced sensors. But uh, for it, he's got that heavy range one attack with uh, advanced proton torpedoes. Yep, and he can afterburn into range to get it. Which is, uh, or just to get that range uh, range one for for the focus. Yep. Um, which is which is going to come in extremely handy. Um, then we have Boba Fett with Lone Wolf uh, auto blasters mm. again, really interesting. Uh, Maul proximity mines, contraband cybernetics for that free red, and uh, d with delayed fuses and Slave One. So this is a modified version of what we saw Cam Flight earlier on stream. It's a very aggro Boba Fett, but mm -hmm. as you were saying, the the auto blasters, the contraband, and the delayed fuses is something new that we haven't seen before. Yeah, I mean, there's a lot of interesting stuff going on. With the Lone Wolf, he gets the defensive reroll uh, when Guri's not around, which yep. is very unusual. Um, you have your free um, force with Maul. Uh, it's that auto blaster that intrigues me. I wonder if he'll be able to get that off this game. Yeah. Um, as soon as he gets behind someone, I guess. But And then you have delayed fuses, which... Um, I'm trying to think of a reason why he would need that, but I'm sure he knows better than I do because um, he's not flying over them. Uh, but maybe that's exactly why he's put them there so that way he can afford to fly over them. If he really wants to, yeah. yeah. It also just means so he can put them down round after round yep. and have weight until... Yeah. Um, if you want to just take the volume down a little bit just because we don't have a lot of noise in the room, they're going to sure. hear you over the table. Yeah, I talk loud. That's okay. Um, um, yeah. So go ahead. Yeah, and... and then we well, have me. Then we have Aaron D, even though you're sitting beside <laughs> me. That's actually Mark Anderson. So I'm very talented, flying while commentating we'll get that, at the same time. We'll get that name changed. Yeah, but yeah. Uh, Mark's flying something definitely in his wheelhouse. He's flying a four-ship T-70 list. Uh, just beefy, tanky, chunky. Jess rocking the BB Astromech, which we've seen before. The, jam, the free jamming beam, because why not? Mm -hmm. uh, two Red Squad experts with Heroic and Jamming Beam because absolutely you take Heroic on every ship that ever can take it, you take it. And then I love that. He's got Lieutenant Bastion in there with a BB instead of an additional Red Squadron es expert. And for me, I really actually like Bastion a whole lot. I think he's oh, a fantastic a addition. In some, res in some respects, he actually acts as like a mini Bigs because you don't want to keep him out there gaining those free target locks. And as mm -hmm. long as people aren't shooting at Jess, you're happy. Well, especially with BB Astromech, that the amount of action efficiency he has is is insane. Yeah, I think we've I've really liked the the BBs coming down in price has been really awesome, especially on these low initiative ships. It's it's a I great agree. little feature to have. Yeah. And the interesting thing about that list, which you don't really see, is that um, when you see these uh, T seventy lists, usually you see three T seventy and an A wing or yeah. and Finn. But uh, Mark has elected to just play four T seventies instead, um, which is beefier um, uh, and easier to fly in formation. So there, there are definitely its adva advantages. And other than Blount, uh, sorry, another than Bastion, they're all the same initiative, which is also really nice too. Yes, very true. So I think we're gonna see Mark's gonna. Probably slow roll and then decide when he wants to engage. And mm -hmm. I think he's going to want to see something. <laughs> yeah, so there you go. A nice smooth one forward. Yeah. So, yeah, Tim set himself up on completely opposite sides of the board. So starting off right away with, with that Lone Wolf enabled. Yeah, I mean, anytime you've got a Lone Wolf 2-ship build, it always feels like you're the, the whole play style is to keep them spread. And it also forces Mark to really commit on one or the other while, while the 
either Guri or Fet, Boba, which is which is not being targeted, to to come in on the flank. Yeah, and that's a. This is a very big and empty, easily accessible play space for these guys that yes. they've created. Um, that is really handy for the four T70s to play in. That's like a. They're not exactly the most. I mean, they are pretty maneuverable now with the native boost and and their ability to barrel if they close their foils, but they have. A lot of firepower, and if they're able to clog up a big spot, yeah, I'm curious what how Tim feels about this rock setup because Guri loves weaving in and out and around of those rocks. Um, so I wonder how he feels whether or not he got what he was looking for in this rock placement. Mm -hmm. So he might want to try to threaten Guri from behind and then Bulba from the front. And mm -hmm. do a, a different a different type of pincer, right? Because Bobo can come in here, and Gurry can come in from there, yes. and you get a really interesting looking toilet bowl. There we go. Kind of maneuver. Okay. So we are a couple of we are definitely a couple of rounds away from action, I think. I don't, yeah, suspe I don't suspect Mark's going to come out swinging. I think he's going to want to take his time. There's no need for him to rush. Yeah, it definitely seems like he's got uh, a little slow, uh, slow roll coming in on uh, here. Now, because of this obstacle here, at some point, Mark is going to have to decide, does he go in this way or does he come around, right? Well, at some point, he has to make that decision. I'm wondering whether or not he's going to one bank in with all of his ships right now right. because that allows him to come on in yep. and then if he wants to turn this way You're or right. wants to turn sense. this way he, he's still able to especially since uh boba is facing the middle of the board here yeah and and not this way right that does make sense and even if he wants to he still has one more turn if he does a one forward here he can still one bank there as well yes all right looks like we're ready to go okay oh three bank hey there you go coming in fast he's committing so it's interesting because um, when you play four X-Wings like this, mm -hmm. if you move fast and get in as fast as possible, mm -hmm. especially when you're fighting uh, a two-ship list where they're on the opposite side of the board, yeah. it really gives you the opportunity to engage with one ship while the other ship is out of range, which which is giving you basically free shots. Right, so you're, you're thinking the Mark's plan here is to kind of like spring a trap on, on Tim and get out there before Boba has a chance to, to line up with him. Exactly. Um, though I'm wondering uh, whether or not he should have boosted if that was his plan in order to... But I guess with, with the commitment, this leaves the arc a, a lot wider open um, than he would have otherwise. <laughs> okay. Ooh, so Boba's coming in angry. Mm-hmm. Boost, probably? Yeah. Yeah. Because that looks like he'll be able to get a shot without any shots in return. Because um, one looks like it'll be out of range three, and that's the only one that might actually have a shot. So Gertie's probably going to bank barrel around that rock this way. For sure. would be my guess. Yeah, so if if that's what he does, then four might have a shot oh. on Gertie. Oh, interesting. Right, He's then. foregoing the shot. Uh, you know what? I think that leaves his dial open much more for next turn. It gives him way more options. Yeah, you're right. It does give him his hard one. It gives him his hard two. It gives him a bug out option. It yeah. Gives him lots of choice. And it also forces Mark to pick. Do you go after Boba or do you commit, continue to commit on Guri? Let's see what we get there. Boba has got his... Oops. It's a good way to get a free boost in. <laughs> so Lone Wolf and Force for three hits. There you go. Two hits and a crit, looks like. And takes one shield. Okay, I mean, that's not too bad. So it looks like, yeah, so Mark's got the two Black Squadrons as the non-named ones. Or Black One, whatever you want to call them. The two Black X-Wings are the non-named to the generics. Yeah, two and three. That makes sense. Yeah. 
Hmm. So, I mean, Tim got a free shield there. The question is now is, do you think uh, Boba won banks or to Does get he... those or two banks to try to get that range one with the rerolls, but risk taking four shots? Or do you think he two turns out or or th- oh, they don't have three turn right just two turns yeah. out and and go for that rear shot and chase to be fair it does make sense that gurry now does a hard three mm-hmm. and i think if i'm i don't know i mean i don't know i don't have flown much boba but i, I two uh, crashing into that whole brick is actually not bad because he removes shots and he still has you know two passive mods so i don't know and he gives himself reroll so would it not be bad to just smash in yeah, Auto I'm, blaster somebody in point blank, reroll, push some crit, crits through, drop a prox mine, fly over them. I don't know. I mean, I'm not a very good red dice for, That's you know, true. Four ships with four red dice that is versus true. your two green dice, even with rerolls, is not great. So, what do you think uh, Guri's going to do here? Yeah, it's. Okay, so yeah. They're just telling us to shut up. <laughs> just in case they can hear us. Or not. Yeah, I don't think we're too sure. loud. But I mean, okay, so no. Okay. Mark is committed to killing Guri. He has mm-hmm. decided Guri is who I'm going to kill first. I will deal with Boba later. But it also gives Boba, Boba the opportunity it, to harass from behind. Absolutely. And it makes the auto blaster that much more scary because oh, now yeah. it's going to be out of arc. So if Tim went all in with his Boba. This is going to be a nasty, nasty shot. Oh, yes. Now, his T-70s can tank for quite some while. But now Jess is there by herself. Well, I mean, she's got a reroll, but you know what I mean. She's exposed. Mm-hmm. Well, but that's also what he wants is is to get him to shoot Jess, right? Um, that way... Oh, Jess is in the back there. Yeah, Jess is number one. I see. And where's Bastion? Bastion's the lead, I would think. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, okay. three bank. Tim giving himself the option to just peace out with a barrel roll. Mm-hmm. Bait, which I think he will do. Yeah, he can just put himself behind that rock, take uh, a take the protection from the rock. Or he could be super cheeky and barrel roll her in to get she could he could barrel roll her right there for mm-hmm. predator her ability, target lock, advanced proton torpedo, and bastion. Oh, he's an afterburner. Oh, intro. Oh, because he has collision detector, yep. uh, and then he can barrel roll, barrel roll around, yep. yep, to not take a shot. Yeah, that's a that's great. Cute. That's really great. That is very cute. That is very very cute. Yeah, who cares? And I bet Mark didn't even. I didn't think about that. Think about it. No, neither did I. I, like I mean, it's... collision detector. I always sleep on it, but it's so strong, especially oh. on a star viper with the bendy barrel roll. Oh yeah. That was an awesome maneuver. Yeah, and I still care. think he's going to be in range one. And he's going to be able to pull Predator. I wonder if Jess has a shot there. Oh, you're it's right. It's going to be close. That's true. It's going to be close. And Tim deciding not to link, which I think is smart. I think yeah. he's going to get a focus anyways off of seven, off of uh, T70 number three there. I think that'll give him. So Boba went slow. Okay, but he did turn in. But now he can boost. I wonder if he'll boost. Yeah. 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 All right. That was a hell of a pincer. Yep. That's really nice because he's not taking any shots, which means he gets at least two free rerolls mm-hmm. if one and four are not within range one. Yeah. I think she gets it. Yeah. Nicely that done. Like and that'll also give her a predator on him, I think, as well. Yeah. Nicely done, Tim. That was a wonderful maneuver. Okay. Okay, so Tim's just trying to figure out who's going to shoot. Mm-hmm. He doesn't want to shoot at the one that has range. He wants to focus fire with his Boba shot. But... He didn't want to shoot at Jess, and he didn't want to take the range two with the damaged one, so he's decided to take the range one shot that he has. I believe he should have Predator here. Which we're going to check right now. Ooh, that's close. Yeah, it looks it in. looks like he has it, though. Looks in. Okay, so he's only got Bullseye on Jess. So, two hits. 
Okay. Uh, is it going to take both? You got, you got to focus, yeah, just take the one. Which means now, does, does Tim fire Boba onto 17 as well? No, I think you auto blaster the mm -hmm. one. I think uh, you can nice attack number blaster. two because number two is at range one and down one shield as well. Yeah, so. and it's a and it's auto blaster out of arc in Bullseye. So you yeah, get the four so dice and you, you can't get cancel those crits, crits. You get those crits. And he's got two re he's got options for rerolls. Oh yeah. <laughs> we'll see what he decides. Tim just running through the calculations to see who he wants to shoot at, how he wants to take that attack. So he's actually electing okay. to shoot at the same one with primaries. Yep, number three. Um, okay. So all for gonna, three. Yeah. Boba Fett reroll and, and a force for three. And doesn't have a focus. Hey, crit, so shields are down. Yeah. Shields down on that guy. Still not yet at half, but... No, but it also makes him very susceptible to crits. Yep, so there Jess has got the shot, the two obstructed. And Jess will get a reroll. And still has that focus token to spend. Yep. Okay, that's what he and wants to crit. see. And he's good. Uh, there we go. Because it was Safe. obstructed. Okay. Okay, so I'm wondering if we're just going to see 4Ks from all the X-Wings here. I mean, is that not just the best idea? I think I think you have to. Like, like it leaves you open, but on the other hand, it's... It's what you got to do. Yeah, you got to... It, it'll give you arc on, on Boba, unless Boba, I guess, pieces out. He could... Boba does the one turn yeah, and, and then the boost away. Well, the Talons to ship right doesn't do him any good, mm -hmm. right? Actually... Would that not be... Oh, that would be Taloning over here. Uh, yeah, I think that's going to put him on the debris if he does that. Yeah, well, Which, you know what Mark was telling me? He's like, I got 4 T-70s. I'll Talon wherever I want. Yeah. And it's he's not technically wrong. It's just a stress. So the, I guess also if Bobo is going to chase and he Talons, so if Boba does a one bank uh, or a one forward, mm -hmm. Boba can just boost to get out of all arcs so it's like it is what is boba going to do is boba going to turn away uh in which case you want to do the talons mm -hmm. or is boba again a one forward or one bank in which case you want to do the k turns so it, i think it he's got to make a 50 50 decision mm -hmm. on what tim is going to do i mean i feel like gurry is just going to go this way i think She's Guri dead. can put a one bank in, or a one forward in and decide after. That's true too. Yeah. <laughs> he still also has another collision detector. Um, oh, so the Bastion's four King, which makes me think they're all going to four K. There you go. So go all four K. Or he might split it up. Who knows? He's not obligated to fly them together. That's true. But sounds like it might just be solid four King. I mean, having all the X-Wings in one big block like that is great in the sense that it, it gives you all those red dice if you catch something. But yeah. there's a certain point where you're going to have to sort of break up the arcs and fan them out yeah. in order to get optimal sh uh, arc coverage on whatever your, wherever your opponents put their ships. Mm -hmm. So I wonder if it would have been worth it to, four ta to 4K some and Talon roll the others. others. Just to split it up. Yeah. That would have been interesting. Also, it would have been a lot harder to plan against. Yes, that is for sure. I'm very interested to see what Boba did. He also could have just hard won. He also has the Slave 1 title, so... Yeah, he can got, decide later. He, yeah. <laughs> Oh, Gary's going right into the maw. So two turn left but here from Gary. He can Gurry. still collision he, detector yep. barrel roll around. He can absolutely dodge Jess's arc with the collision detector. But number four and number three still might have a shot there. Yep. Which will make things very tough. I don't think he wants to take four shots, though. Left, curved upward, yeah. yeah. Yep, 
So he's going to spend so a collision detector charge. Collision detector's done. Yep. And he's going to dodge. And he's going to dodge beautifully that arc. He's going to get his focus token. He's going to have Predator active again on somebody. Tim sure showing the adaptability and the, the bendy prowess. Oh, it, it's just so good, those, those bendy barrel rolls. Just put yourself wherever you want. I think he has dodged three of the four arcs with that. I do think he has. Um, and it's a two forward. It's important to note that Tim was just letting, something I didn't even realize about Collision Detector. Even once your charges are done, you're, you can still barrel roll onto and off of debris. You just don't need to ignore their effects anymore. It's true. So and that's actually really important to know that that might still be worth it to barrel roll into the debris to save yourself. Yeah, I especially mean, if it not gets taking, your range one, not taking two or three shots, but not is still is not is worth not taking a shot yourself. Yeah. yeah. So Guri, her focus is a focus action now, right? Or is it a focus no, token? No, it's a calculate at, oh. and it, you, it's she has a calculate action, but you I get assigned a focus, so you can get it even if you're stressed. So if you've spent all of your your uh, collision detections, yeah. you can still get your focus. Yeah. So um, Tim's going all in on the main on the pain train here. He's like, "That's it. I don't need lone wolf. I just need pure pure damage." Oh, and he reinforced. It also means that number three and number four also have a harder choice to make of whether or not they want to go against Boba or go against Guri. And I think yeah. the answer to that is you know, how much damage number one and number two does to Boba Fett. Yeah. Because uh, if Boba Fett ends up taking a bunch of damage, I mean, you have to focus fire that down, and you, no matter if Guri's at range one. So now Tim... So Tim reinforced the front arc. However, two and four can still shoot out of the, unre the unreinforced area. Yeah. So he's only reinforced for two attacks. So that'll be an interesting no, choice. No, it's, it's not, because... Because they're on this side of the reinforce. Oh, oh that's the delineation. That's, oh, my apologies. Okay, goes, yeah. so all four of them are reinforced. Okay, okay. So I think he's go uh, Tim's going for an uh, initiative kill. Oh, that was not great. As he's saying. <laughs> Double focus. Oh, he's going to spend the focus. And just takes the one. Okay. Hey, man, the T-70s, every time they evade one, one damage at a time is... It's, those things are so tanky. Yeah, like you, seven one, health, right? One damage at a time is not going to take those guys down fast enough. Yeah. So he's two Boba real rolls coming. And double eyeballs focus, again. Focus, focus, So And he's just not going to take it. Yeah, don't spend the force. He, yeah, this is not worth it. He's, he needs that for defense. Yeah, you absolutely want that on defense. So, I mean, he's got the reinforce, but four but I think at red that point, dice yeah. is tough. And oh, look wow. at that hit, hit, crit. Like Jess is going to use her reroll for almost the socks and sandals. So she rolled two hits and a crit. So one evade, reinforce yep. for taking a crit, which will yep. be a shield. So not bad. I mean, with reinforce and evade dice, it, it, do you think Tim's going to take more than one, one shield on every one of these shots? Mm-hmm. Reinforce takes... Spend the Force. Oh, yeah. Nice. Takes nothing there. Uh, I don't think it works out. I think he has to re-roll, and then at the end... He has to re-roll re first. Yeah, they'll call in Judge. They're doing yeah. it properly. Yeah, the Reinforce is applied after the results. Yeah, it's yeah. the last thing you do after yeah. the re-rolls. Yeah, our Marshal's in here. So you have to wonder, what do you think the X-Wings are going to go from here? Because now they have a big fat Boba Fett in the way of yeah, up their boom and they're maneuvers. stressed. So, uh, like, really, I think the one can one bank in front of Boba Fett, but, and, and like, the th three, two, and four can go one forward, but, I mean, that's not going to put Boba Fett in arc. There we go. So he takes one. Yeah, we did it properly. Yeah. Now, Lieutenant Bastion, he has to actually take hull damage yes. in order to trigger Lieutenant yes. Bastion. Yes. So but why, none of these are going to trigger that. But why, why it's good, though, is because Bastion's an I-2. He's going to have three opportunities on a shot of focus firing here. So that's what, that's what Mark's trying to decide now. Does he shoot the range one into Guri, or does he take the range two into Boba? 
potentially get into Hull, giving Bastion the target lock? I mean, I kind of think you take the Guri shot. If, if, if Guri doesn't have a focus anymore, yeah. if, if he's doing it, yeah, he's range winning Guri. If you get a good shot, you have more red dice and Oof, hot there fire. you go, hit, hit, crit. Uh, uh, I don't know what that third dice is, but uh, it was an evade. There we so go. Guri so takes, he's taking crit. a crit on on Hull. Yeah. And it's console, console fire. fire. Ooh, Tim is nasty. using his French damage deck. Yeah. So I like it though. I like that. I want one of those. I, I like it too. Yeah. He he. Especially he when we travel abroad, we can show people, hey, yeah. that, that definitely was, doesn't say direct hit. I was playing Tim <laughs> earlier, and I said, okay, someone around me has to speak French, because I have to make sure that Tim Tim is saying yeah. what he has, what he says he has. Okay, so one. And he's shooting Boba. It looks like a range two. Bastion on two Boba. And then one of eight, Got we're it. fine. Okay. So Mark's okay with that exchange, I think. Uh, yeah, you, Mars, I mean, putting that console fire on Guri is tough. Because right? now she has to action. She has yeah. to get out of dodge to action. The thing is, where can Guri go this time? Like, I wonder if, if Mark is, should one Self bank bump. number four in, in order to... Bastion? Keep him onto a rock. Yeah, what if yeah, you just Bastion. one forward Bastion bump? Hard two bump. Hard one, and, and just, just crash, don't and anybody. just don't let Gary go just anywhere. Don't just don't I mean, let Gary go thing anywhere. Is, is that Mark can choose which ship moves first, yep. right? So, oh, you're right. So he can move this yeah, one to self bump. Tim saying you can't believe he, he can, didn't kill a T seven. He can one one forward there to bump. He can one forward there to bump, and then these guys can. I mean, he could. I don't know. Yeah, I don't know. So what I would do is, I think I would. Uh, Move three you, first, yeah. one four to bump. Yeah. Then one bank in number one to yeah, get to in block front of that. Boba Fett. Yeah. One bank in number two to get that shot on Boba Fett yeah. if he happens to. Yeah. And then um, number four, uh, I think you one bank into the block onto number three because if Guri blocks onto number three, that gives you a range one shot and Guri will be on a rock so she won't be able to shoot back because she can't ignore them anymore. Right. That's right. She doesn't get to ignore the effects. <clears throat> And then wherever Boba Fett's going to go, it's going to be in in this area. Yeah. So it'll get, make sure Bo number four, was that Bastion? Bastion yeah. has a shot on Boba Fett. Do you think, Boba Fett do you think a three be. bank from Boba will clear that mess? Ooh, I mean. Doesn't look like it, right? If number three one's forward, he, it won't. <laughs> <sighs> Let's hope but Mark you know, thinks about these bumps. But you know, is that bad? Is that bad for Boba Fett? No, when is, bump, when is bumping with Boba Fett ever bad? I mean, you, get more you re still get all your rerolls, and you have a, a Maul. He's also stressed this turn because of that reinforce. Yeah. So he's got to do a blue maneuver. Which on the fire sprays are the two forwards, two banks? The one bank is blue on the fire spray, right? I think I think it's one... One forward, two forward, like the ones and one twos? One forward, two forward, three forward, one banks. Oh, okay. I, I that would make sense-ish for large base? In either case, there's not a there's not a maneuver. Oh, I like that. Tim's dropping a prox mine. Oh, okay. I like that. Good choice. Gum up the works. <clears throat> I'm assuming he's not going to use a delayed fuse on this one. No, no, I don't think so. Bastion hey, one straight weird. bumps. One straight front. I mean, utilizing those the ship the ships in the front to mm -hmm. keep the shapes in the back mm -hmm. where you want them to be is just so good. Like I said, I've played against Mark a couple of times. He he loves to he's good at like K turning and then just not moving the next round. I'm yeah. like, what, what? How did you do that? He's like, I don't know. You just know <laughs> it's, it's it's smart, huh? right? Like, and as you said, he so one bank from the Jess. Yeah, yeah, you gotta. So he didn't move the one in the back first. So that means he's not looking to bump. He's looking no, to. No, he'll probably go one forward because it also gives Jess those re rolls if if he needs to. Yeah, yeah, that would make sense. But it also doesn't block Guri onto the rock unless Guri goes to the right. So. Yes. Okay, so he's locking. One bank from. That one, which is, might be a bump there, I think. Yeah, it's pretty close. Yeah, he's switching it over to the other side, which I'm yeah. assuming is a yeah. bump. I mean, it's not great to bump there because if Boba bumps number two, he gets a range one shot onto exactly. 
And she can't do anything in return. Plus, she locked, so she's not like she's going to get a focus out of it. One straight. Yeah. Which will bump. So Tim would have to have done a hard maneuver left. <clears throat> but he, but he, that will keep him stressed. Is Gurry stressed right now? Gurry's not no, stressed. No, not Gurry. I think that means if Gurry wants forward, that puts Gurry out of... Uh, like, number three won't block Gurry. To one bank the other way. Okay. He's just going to change the angle a little bit. Yeah. Ever just so. Okay. Yeah. Too hard to ship left. So I don't think yeah, actually Mark could have blocked that at all. Yeah, don't... Tim not taking the chance. He's going to get rid of that console fire, yeah, I think, no. right now. I agree. Or yeah. flip it down, right? Yeah. Because he's not taking any shots anyways. But he still engages even if he doesn't have a val valid target. Well, that's why you just flip out down yeah. the console fire this turn. 100%. Um, and you still get a free focus anyway. Next turn, he could just one turn barrel roll, and he could have his arc on, on the unit. Yeah. All, any X-Wing he wants, really. Yeah, flip their console fire face down. Smart choice. Smart choice. Okay, so Boba Fett's taking two shots this round. He doesn't yep. have the reinforce anymore. He but is. rerolls for days. And and unfortunately, both shots on him are not uh, modded. Not yet. If number three does damage, then Bashing can get a target lock. He's got to get, get two through. So hit, hit. Three and, three a, and crit. a crit. Yeah. Oh, that nothing. is not good. That's going to be a crit onto Hull. I think that's going to no kill that one. What. Oh, he has a focus, so he's going to take hit crit. It's, it's still crit. not enough. It still dead. kills him. Structured, so so that prevents Bastion from getting that target yeah. lock. Yeah, which is big. Yeah. Unless, of course, he does damage here. Ooh, not, Which, not with that. Not with that. Not with the rerolls. And he gets a reroll. Oh, it's, well, he has Maul now, so it doesn't even yeah. matter. <sighs> okay. Okay, so that was big for Tim. He's got some space to breathe now. He's gotten rid of his if, ship. Do um, if Boba three banks to the right here, that, that'll hit the rock? Three bank right? Yeah. No, I think he's fine. I think he has it. Uh, assuming Looks Gurry's not close. there. Yeah. I mean, it's so nice having two fives. So you can move them whichever order you want to. Yeah. So do you drop a second prox? No, you don't. He might no, just want to do a one bank because he might want to prox mine somebody next I round. I think I think the that is off limits now, right? Because Mark is not going to take his list anywhere near that proxy mine. Yeah. Um, if he does something like a three bank... And puts himself, puts puts Bastion behind him, mm -hmm. or to the point where Bastion can't move without going over that proxy line. That's where he's really gonna want it. I'm actually really surprised um, Tim dropped his proxy line there, um, and and didn't wait till he got a for sure hit. But I, it has to be a form of range. Uh, sorry. Well, I control. think so. I think he, I think he was maybe thinking they might go three or four or four to clear their stresses. And if so, he would have tagged one of them. Mm -hmm. So it does make somewhat of sense. I mean, so this guy can, this guy can still 4k. Jess can still 4k. Bastion could maybe cheeky three Talon. I don't know. We I want number, to. I think number two is pointing the same way as Jess. Oh, you're which right. Which means if he four Ks, you're right. he puts himself suspiciously close to. And he can't Talon because he's dangerously close to that prox mine. Yeah. I mean, he might be able to Talon the other direction, but. I don't know if I like that very much. I don't know either. Yeah, that's that puts himself much too close to that rock for next turn. Yeah. And then Bastion is left out in, you know. It left out the dry. Yeah, yeah. that's dry. What else can he do? You're right, because Gurry can absolutely hard one barrel roll in and be right on Bastion's rear. Yeah, I think I think this is a really tough spot for Mark to be in. <sighs> I 
<laughs> I would almost wonder if he two turns everybody to uh, like to get around this rock yep. here. Because if he two turns and then boost, yep. maybe if Gurry goes that way, he he'll be able to take uh, take some shots on Gurry. Right. Oh, that looks like a Talon. Wait. No, maybe not. Just a regular hard three. Yeah. Yeah, just the three. Nicely done. That's tight. Very yeah. tight. Really. But he nice. made it. Yeah. That's, Nicely done. That's what you need. Fancy flying, Flyboy. Yeah. Nicely done. So just my Talon? 4K, yeah. 4K, yeah. Which I think means we're going to see a Talon from number two. Oh, that would make sense. Now that the space is cleared. Attempting 4K. Okay. Oh, yeah. He's got that. There's, there's He might more 4K than over the rock, there. though. He's just going to 4K over the rock. He might also tag it next round, though. Oh, his one bank should clear it. Oh. Oh. It's all uh, by the way Bastion is now, he can also talent whichever way he wants next turn and yep. not have to worry about um hitting that rock. Right. Zero consequences. <laughs> okay. Oh, slave Such one. a good yeah. uh, title. Especially because it works on both banks and turns. Yeah. It's incredibly powerful. Definitely worth the points. Still stressed. So, but he does also have that range one shot. Yeah. And the X, the other X-Wings are range three, mm -hmm. which is fantastic. It's now like best of both worlds. He will just get his, um, I suspect the boost maybe coming here. I uh... Yeah, okay, console fires turned down. Yeah. Maybe I'm wrong. There you go, you're okay. right. Set yourself up for next turn. Yeah. Oh, that poor Gertie's, sad Star Viper. That Gertie's flying crazy. <laughs> she's leaning into it and facing the direction she's not flying. <laughs> she's giving herself away where she's going to go next turn. Yeah. Okay, so Boba, and Sebastian. Boba, range one to Bastion. Isn't that too many dice? Oh, no, it's three out the rear, right? Fire spray's three out the rear. Yeah. So. Hit crit, spends yep. them all for us. Does that make sense? Sebastian's got so two shields two down. Two shields down. And these will be range three shots, so I don't think you'll plink anything through. Well, it's range two, I maybe. mean, Boba gets has one reroll plus Lone Wolf if he really needs uh, it. No, because Gurry's in range one to two of them. Oh, yeah, yeah, So no Lone right. Wolf there. Yeah. So Nada. Oof. So That's he's not, he's good. not getting any Bastion target locks off of those hits. I mean, Mark's dice are not doing him any favors at this point. But, I mean, unmounted shots are bad. It's yeah. just... <laughs> well, it's a bit better. He's got to yeah, just yeah. have a reroll. So he wants to see at least a hit here. They'll be happy. There he goes. Okay. So he's getting one through, potentially. So he's got... Boba's got one reroll. Yeah, Tim's not too happy about it. Nope. And especially because of the blanks. So he takes all three. Hit, hit, hit crit, crit, which will give Bastion his target lock. Target lock, yep. yeah. Blinded Ooh. pilot. That's a nasty that is one. huge. Luckily, he's carrying a force token. And lucky he's going away, so he'll for sure be able to clear it. Yep. Okay. So is that half on Boba? Not yet. Yeah, it is. That's Mark's first point. So it's, I mean, technically Mark's winning now, but the these X wings just go down so fast. Um, yeah, but he's one one damage away on Guri from half health on her. That's true too. Which is another, you know, forty points for him, 44, 42 points for him. So now that Bastion has that target lock, he's absolutely going to tell and roll right. 
and chase Boba. Mm-hmm. And we're going to see, well, this guy's going to have to eat the rock again, but he's going to go three forward and Justin go three forward, I think. Yeah, that's exactly what he's got to keep the pressure happen. on. He has to keep the pressure on Boba now that he's got him. Well, actually, Boba's going to drop a proxmine no matter what. So Bastion eats that proxmine. That is exactly, yeah, for sure. See, this is what what those proxy mines are for. Those yeah. are, this is like the sweet spot. Yeah, for when you fly past or when you're give, when someone's giving chase. That's yeah, absolutely it's like you it. know you're gonna drop them. Yeah. One thing I just realized is that Tim's list has no bid. It's an exactly two hundred point list. Mm. How often do you see that with with Guri? Like Guri, you very very think rare needs a huge bid in but order I to think, take advantage of moving. Last. I think that's why he didn't make Guri worth a thousand points and why he didn't worry about outmaneuver or advanced mm-hmm. sensors because he's like. I'm not going for bid. I'm going to outfly my opponent, and I'm going to damage them, right? Yeah. With that whole well, with the predator, the advanced proton torpedoes, it's more of an aggressive build. It's true. Like without those advanced sensors, he doesn't necessarily need to know where everyone else is going to go. He- and we we saw with great skill the two uh, collision detector barrel rolls around that rock were so amazing, good. right? Like so good. So yeah, I don't know. I think I think you just give chase. There we go. Yeah, yeah. there's the proxy. And ooh, ooh max damage. So plus one for, for the auto hit. So that was rough. That low. was a that was a good bomb for Tim, which puts Tim back up on points with half on Bastion. Yeah. Oof, that was a that was very really good, nice. very very good. Uh, thing. Proximity mines are just so good on Boba Fed with that Slave One title. Yeah, like just put yourself wherever you want. Yeah. Oh, he's two banking. Interesting. Well, I guess if Boba Fett's going to three bank, or well, I guess he won't three bank. He's got to get rid of that stress. He's just trying to cut off his chase. Yeah, that's exactly what he's doing. Or catch Guri. Like, oh, or, yeah, exactly. And I if, think. If Guri does a three bank, mm. then that puts him right in his sights. This Red Squadron uh, loves that rock. He's, so tagged just, it, he's tagged it twice for no damage. Do a three forward or a two bank here. One bank. There you go. And so then he's going to barrel roll around the Oh, no, that's hitting the rock. Oh, I don't think it is. You don't think so? No. Oh. Yeah, so that hits the rock. Yeah, okay. Maybe this there was a lot tough. of... I think that rocks... I don't know how what you could do there. And he so, takes yeah, damage. Mark's in the thing. There was no way to clear the strip. Yeah. But now, and now he's going to go through it next turn, which I mean, yeah. it's Jess. Jess doesn't necessarily need actions, but it still feels bad. It does because J- J- oh, I think he thought he, I think he thought he cleared, and he correctly identified that the three forward did not clear the rock. He clipped it anyways. Yeah. So. Yeah, I like that. I think Boba goes one oh. forward, clears the stress, just continues to take pot shots out the rear. <laughs> I think that's uh, that's exactly what it is because I don't think a one bank is gonna fit there. Oh, two straight. Yeah, two straight. Yeah, that makes sense. Clear the blinded pilot. Yep. If he remembers to, he's got a token reminder there. So, but I don't think he has uh, lone wolf. Oh, he's gonna keep his crit and try to oh, look back. Interesting, yeah. and not take a focus. Oh. Because he has no defensive reroll at this point, right? Because of Lone Wolf. Well, he also can he also not. If he kills re-roll? Bastion here, it doesn't matter. I thought what, what's he's what got is blinded pilot? What he's is got blinded, blinded pilot? He he can't target lock. Well, he did. So should we let them know? That's a uh, impossible. That's, yeah. How does he do he target lock? He shouldn't be doing that. Yeah, we should let. He can't do a target lock if he has blinded pilot. He can't mod does. Victor. Victor, he has he blinded can't, pilot. He can't use the target lock. He has blinded, blinded pilot. pilot. If I can put him back wherever I like, I'm going to have him flanking Boba Fett. Yeah, that looks about right.
Okay, so we were okay. able to roll that back effectively. So he did have Bastion a took a wounded pilot on yes. that one. It was hit crit blank. I think it was hit crit blank. Okay, so we were able to get, catch that in time. Yeah. We got it fixed. Phew. Simple, so simple, now Bastion gets mistake. a shot. No malice involved. With the lock. Yeah. And Boba just has the mall for defense. Yeah. There nice. we go. Three, so. Needs. Takes two. Yep. Which puts Boba down to three health. Yep. <sighs> wow. Yeah. Can you bring up Bastion's player card for a second? Okay. Fair enough. Yeah, no problem. Wounded pilot is the when you do an action you get a stress token? I think so. Okay, so yeah, so Bastion's at range one, the two is dealt damage. So because it was a range three shot, he doesn't get his lock back. But if that was a range two, he would have, which is why Bastion's yeah. so great. Oh, so good. Oh, yeah, because it's range one it's to range two. range one to two only. Yeah, but if you I didn't even think about that. I thought it was range, range two, one to three. He continually does yeah. damage. It's crazy. Self-regenerating target lock. So Guri's going to come in pretty angry and maybe advance Proton Torpedo somebody. And I think, I'm waiting for it. I'm waiting for it to happen. And I think Tim just pieces out with uh, Boba. I mean, I think the whole thing with Guri is not giving him that opportunity to... Um, Half-pointer? Like, number two... I think you just see a one bank. Oh, Keep you yourself wide open for Guri to catch Guri. I'm sure when Mark watches this last, he'll, he'll kick himself. He could have barrel rolled with BB-8 with Jess BB before he oh, did the one no, bank. No, he couldn't. He was nope. stressed. And oh, it's a barrel roll action. that's why he wanted to clear it, which he could yeah. do so now. So now he can yeah, barrel Yeah, so now roll. he can. But he can't do it to the left because that'll go over the yeah, rock. Yeah, he can do it to so. the right and do a one forward so he can And that'll the, stop himself from getting hit the, by that bomb. And also one, yeah. spread around his arcs. It's yeah. not, not a terrible maneuver de yeah. uh, depending on how fast Guri comes in. Yeah. Yeah, so wounded is uh, when you do an action, you roll a dice and see whether you get a stress. Okay, Bastion's going to close goal. his foils. So Bastion's going to shut his foils. I wonder why he shut his foils. Oh, again, I keep forgetting. Stress, he couldn't have BB'd. Yes, yeah. Um, so I wonder if he's going to focus barrel roll. I mean, if Boba Fett stays in his bullseye, then it won't matter. So unfortunately, so he, he gets the stress, so he and can't he link can't now. Hmm. That's rough. That is rough. Almost would have been better off just leaving them open. I wonder if he's, yeah, regretting that. So there's that one bank. I mean, you make the best decisions when you came when you're in the moment. It's I hot mean, lights. It's not exactly easy, right? If if he didn't take that stress, maybe maybe he wanted to bear roll to push himself a little bit closer while he has that focus. Yeah. To bank, so he's just gonna go over the rock. I mean, you have to. Yeah, he's got to keep. Oh, he, she will get her <laughs> uh, offensive reason. Tim is uh, wishing he had a tractor beam to tractor Jess onto the proximity Mark telling line. Him, I think you got enough going on on that list already. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that oh, hurts. it takes another hit from the rock. That hurts. So, so unfortunately, he's now. Taking three damage to rocks. Yeah, so he took he, five. he took both dam yeah, both damage. Oh, that's tough. Mm -hmm. Yep, I think we're seeing a Vanessa Proton. Because uh, target locked, she'll get the she'll get the focus. Yeah, but I'm wondering if if he should barrel roll out of number two's arc. 
Boba did Boba move? Boba, Boba did, move. did, did Boba So did number two can shoot Boba Fett. No, if, if no matter what the question is, whether or not he would take a range one Guri. Well, there, here we go. There Advanced proton torpedoes. Try to burn that focus off. I mean, of he could not burn it if he blanks out. He could potentially kill him. And that leaves if that leaves Jess without um, a wingmate, a wingman. Re if yeah. if he does, yeah. Okay, Boba's gonna try to kill Bastion. Yeah. And if it's rolled as range two, if Bastion survives this and does damage to Boba, he oh, gets yeah, a target it's lock. Two. Yeah, so it's he'll true. get a target lock off of this if he lives. He's gonna live. Boba's got a target lock. Boba has a lock on Bastion, so I mean he's got double modded shot if he really wants it. And ooh, the force. Yeah. yeah so that to, guarantees, to guarantees the his hit. death. Well, he's not. Oh yeah, range two. Yeah. yeah. So. So bye bye, Bastion. Yeah. So he takes one and yeah. he's off the board. Yeah. That is not what Mark needed. No. Yeah, advanced proton, advanced proton torpedo. That's five dice. Oh, yeah. Mark's just remembering that. Mark forgetting that there was an advanced proton torpedo. He's like, oh, yes. Oh, that's looking pretty nasty. Yeah. That's looking pretty nasty. But I'm leaving but leaving Guri without without a mod is Yeah. I think you spend the target lock. Ooh, okay. now it's tough. So now Now it's a tough call. Yeah, now the red number two isn't gonna die no matter yeah. what. Yeah. Yeah, YOLO focus. And he's focusing he's, for he's hit, hit, hit right crit. now, so Ooh, Oh he's alive by one. Oh heroic. Oh yeah, he does heroic. have heroic. Come on, heroic. Best card in the game. Oh. Sorry. Unbelievable. Sorry. <laughs> heroic and is the best Tim card. is yelling into the room. Heroic is the best card in the game. Yeah. Socks and sandals. There it is. Mark really oh, felt that man. one. There it is, baby. And he still has his focus token. Yep. And now Guri's at range one of and two he might get... ships. And Pava has... Okay, range two of Pava. Yep. But Pava has that reroll. So... Now she could spend a BB eight charge, a BB charge to roll additional die, but good thing he didn't because that was garbage. Ooh, and Guri still takes oh, damage. Oh yeah, that is bad. And okay. now you got a range one focus so shot from a tight seventy. Guri is really close to dying. He's got two of eight dice left. Okay, if Guri blanks out, then he's gone. But you got three. Oh. So Guri's <laughs> Guri's living on one life. One life, which is all Guri needs. Guri could That's conceivably true. not get shot for the rest of the game. Absolutely. Absolutely. It'll be up to um Well so now Mark's gotta get Do you oh, try to so... kill Do you try to kill Guri or do you try to get Boba Fett? I down? think I think Guri three sloops here. Yeah. Um Boba Fett, I don't know. Do you think a one turn will, yeah, he can one turn boost? Will move get in there? He can one turn here. Yeah. Right? The one but turn puts him there and then a bank boost. Three health is so Ah, uh, I don't Iffy. know. I mean, listen, there's a reason why I never play at top tables because uh, I would go for the kill. Yeah. I, I mean, YOLO it at this tough. point. It's, especially it's even worse. If I'm playing with friends, it's like, I don't care. I, <laughs> like, uh, yeah, well, it's casual. Yeah. You're like, well, let's just I mean, do it. Let's see what happens it's here. It's still pride. You know, the PTL Open Championship I, is a good trophy hey, to have your it. name on. The, the PTL Open is the premier casual competitive <laughs> championship. I love it. Pr yeah. Premier Casual petitive. Casual petitive. <laughs> we'll try to figure out a better word for it. <laughs> I love it. I don't know. I'm curious about that one turn. Otherwise, it's not it's, a good decision. I, otherwise, I think like you just three good bank yeah. and boost. There's yeah, the, the one turn. Let me, let me make it. the one turn is not a good choice. It's what I would do. Yeah, I because mean, I'm a fielder. Yourself, and you put yourself behind fielders. your rock. You're a range three with a focus and lone wolf. Yeah. Because if Curry sloops and and. Uh, Boba three banks. So that, saying, that'll activate his. You're saying Gurry's gonna sloop ship left. I think that's what I would do if I was Gurry. But then again, I'm not in top four. <laughs> yeah. So Mark realizing he's got a tough. I mean, tough maybe Gurry just one turns because. With the wonky barrel rolls, like one turns can, towards the proxima and then barrels barrels around it. Barrels around. I don't know. This is no, such I a like close this game. better. Three bank. So Mark has called the three bank from Boba, as you said. Yeah. 
Because if he one turns in now, that's that's going to be you a see why the sad, one, you see why one turn red boost vet. was the right choice. Yeah. <laughs> So Jess is going to bump. And Jess, yeah, bump Scurry. Okay. As you call yeah, it, three, three, three sleuth. Yeah. I think that um, that'll even keep Gurry in range. One. One in yeah. order to get that focus. Yeah. If not, it's it's really close. Ooh, I think she's got it. Oh, afterburners. Oh, yeah. Forward boost. Yeah. Well, he's got the range no, one. Bank he doesn't boost. need it. Save bank it. Bank boost. Save it. Tim okay, ruling that he saving doesn't. It. Yeah, yeah, yeah no he point. has the one, and he's got the range one shot. I mean, he, went, he like, might have been fishing for Predator, but I don't. I think it's better to keep that get out of jail free I card. I 100% agree. Yeah. 100%. Okay, so what's Boba? Does he, I mean, he's contemplating his uh, Slave 1 ability, I think. So Boba... I mean, how many Slave 1 choices do you have here? Ah. Uh, contraband. Is the Talon coming? 4K. 4K. Yeah, 4K. Interesting. Take the Reinforce out the front. To ensure safety? He's I mean, have... he's got three hit points. Reinforce out the front. He's in a focus. Ah, okay. That, that'll keep him double stressed if he reinforces. Which That's right, because he reinforces really, red. He does really not want to do that here. Yeah. And then he's already given up the half, so it's not like it matters. He's taking a range two shot through a rock and a range three shot through a rock. Yeah. Um, I don't And he's got Lone Wolf and, and got, Maul. Yeah. And a focus. Yeah. I don't suspect he has any issues here. Okay. Gary's got the range one onto Jess. No predator, but a focus to spend. Uh, <laughs> I think he has advanced proton yeah. torpedoes, though. Okay. okay. So Jess is going to feel that. She's going to feel. Re roll. Nice. There we go. Okay, Jess is sticking around. It's, Jess is super healthy still. I mean, depending on how how he flies, he's using the chi of the iron fist to survive. Uh, <laughs> I mean, like, look if if Boba Fett and Red Squadron Vet take themselves off, it's still anyone's game. A one health Gurry versus a full health, or I guess four hold. Yeah. Jet. So okay. Tim's not taking any chances. He's saving all of his mods for yeah, defense. Yeah, I totally understand that. Yeah, it's a hundred percent direct. He's call. got. Yeah, he's got to. Okay, yeah, two. absolutely focus. Versus three dice. Oh. oh. <laughs> so four oh. blanks. Uh, he's going to reuse. So yeah. Uh, oh. For the lone wolf. So and sad. blank out. And take two. So it takes two damage. Well, that was unlikely. puts it very scary. For that wasn't. That just shot. That was an unlikely outcome. Oh, like four blanks. I mean, I mean, the yeah. only person that I know that takes damage from range three through a rock is Fen Rao. Yeah, so. normally. No, we've seen uh, we've seen um, wedge explode range oh, three yeah. through a rock as well. To just a I fly a lot of wedge. That yeah. sounds about right. Yeah, he blows up too. Yeah. yeah. So did obviously the ruling Jess not having arc. Oof! This is tight. 20 oh. minutes left. One so that was only one, one shot, right? So it was Jess out? They're really in that Jess is out. It looks quite a long shot. I guess yeah. they didn't, I guess they felt on the table presence that it was out of range. Man. Oh, there you go. Okay, so there you go. So the Red Squad vet was at range three. Yeah. So there was no way Jess is in range. Yeah, it's hard to judge sometimes. Yeah. So I wonder if number two does a K turn here. Do you think well, it's... has got to go forward. Do you think if... You two turn with a two, um, it'll it'll hit that rock. I don't think no, so, right? And I think that's the call. I think you two turn. Three I think bank. you two turn boost for a block and take a take the shot with Jess range one. What if you just two turn? If you just two turn and then you got arc there and then you yeah. three bank and then Boba is going nowhere. I don't yeah. know. I don't know. I don't, I don't know. know either. You just gotta hope you survive. 
Gurry's going to be able to get into range one again. 100%. It's going to happen. So you're going to eat another four dice attack. You have I to mean, hope that he doesn't do damage. <laughs> Jess is, you know, it's... Jess is, is still pretty tanky. Jess so, has both BB shots, So Mark though. still has eight hull on the board. Tim only has two. It's two V2 I mean, ships, 20 but minutes it's left. Bob and Gurry. You can I know, never count out Gurry. I know. One point, one health Gurry is like, one I mean, health ace is still an ace. After Gurry shoots, that could be one off the board, depending yeah. on how the dice variance yep. goes. She can delete know? one. And then pegging her down is going to be actually harder, especially now that Mark has only got two ships left. Pegging down Gurry is going to be incredibly difficult for her. I mean, yeah. I honestly think if if Boba and and either the Red Squad or Jess get destroyed, um, uh, and you have a one health Guri on a f four health X Wing, I I think I would probably take Guri. I would too. I absolutely would too. I think Tim Tim is willing. I think he's willing to trade Boba for either of those two T seventies. Yeah, I mean he still's got an afterburner charge. He's yeah, got those bendy barrel rolls. Bear rolls. Yeah, those bendy barrel rolls are so good. Range one favors her with the initiative. Yeah, all she's got to do is plink one damage through. I mean, it's by no means a surefire thing, but if you know Tim can take off one Tim of these T seventies, oh, That's absolutely, for sure. he's yeah. absolutely a phenomenal player. So if he can get rid of oh, four eh, K, four K, not going for the block. I mean, it goes for the shot. Like, he's for sure getting a shot with the yeah. 4K. And I wonder if Jess one banks in. But the problem is Jess now, if Jess doesn't get do the 4K or something crazy, then doesn't have the rerolls. She's going to four straight focus. Four straight, yeah. So he gets that rerolls. Interesting, interesting. I mean, that's basically taking Jess out of a shot. Yeah. There's no way Jess is going to have Arc on anyone. Nope. Three straight, so if he would have done the hard two, three yeah. bank, he would have had him. Yeah, totally. I don't think there was a way for him to get out of the arcs if he would have hard twoed. <laughs> but Gurry's Gurry does a, a two bank for stress clearing. Yeah, uh, it'll be a two bank. So yeah. actually, two bank I, I boost, don't think he can, he can get, get there. Yeah, if yeah. he was in range one before and and just four straighted, and you get a two bank boost, He's that'll there. that'll put him. But actually, it's kind of cute because that makes means the red squadron vet will a have shot. a shot range two shot on Gurry, he'll which is not good. But he'll have an unmodded shot though. Uh, yeah, but I mean, crazier things have happened. What he needs to do is he needs to throw roll three blanks so he can heroic it. Yeah. Or just rule. Oh, so Tim's very correctly, intelligently uh, linking yeah. for a calculate and getting the focus. He's giving himself an That's offensive good, and defensive mod. Because he can spend mod. that calculate on the very, offense yeah. if he wants. Yeah, very smart. I wonder, you know, he probably could have just... Okay. He could have used an afterburners, but he actually wanted the linked action. There yeah. Because he wants the double mods. Yeah, for sure. Plus, it still gives him opportunities in the future if if Gurry survives. Mm -hmm. Oh, so that two hit, hits hit in a crit. crit onto Red Squadron Expert. Range two through a rock, so three dice. Oh, he evades and two. No mods. Oh, she evades one. Right so one. He's gonna take hit crit. So, so Tim could get him here. Yeah. Ooh, oh, got one health. I think on with you have to take that shot with Gurry. Oh yeah, and now you absolutely spend your focus. Yeah. That's what Tim needed. Yeah. Oh, he's even got Predator here, too. Oh, yeah. Yeah, that's he definitely has it. Oof. Oh. That's it. And he's that's, that's range, range two. two? Yeah, so there's nothing yeah. he can do. Red Vet goes down. Oof, that's what Tim needed. Some room to breathe. Yeah, so now Tim is in a really, really good spot. Yeah. And Jess is facing the wrong way. Yeah. Which no means, help. yeah, he's got no health, which I, I'm pretty sure you're going to see Mark. Well, he's either going to K-turn or Talon roll. I'm not sure what the correct maneuver is. I mean, he has to. He can't I, I think the K-turn is the best, better maneuver. Yeah. Um. Well, that'll put you a range three possibly out Uh from Boba, which means that you and Guri will exchange shots, except instead of you, Guri, and Boba Fett. Mm -hmm. um, 
because if he if he talents, yeah. yeah. See, if he talents, then Bilbo will get a shot, and you want to take as little shots as possible at this point. Yeah, Gary's yeah. just gonna come in. She might auto target I he, lock. I think he's gonna use his afterburners. Yeah, yeah, yeah. absolutely. Oh, and then, <laughs> and then he's gonna barrel roll to get out of arc. Yeah. And then, yeah, absolutely. Then barrel roll out of arc. Then roll out of and arc. then Boba Fett goes away. Boba Fett doesn't have to be around. Oh, he he's just gonna go straight up oh, for it. Well, he could just cool. initiative kill. I mean, he's got four health. He would have to hit all four, and yeah, that's true. And no, not roll, roll any defense. Now, I do think Jess he should have just barrel rolled. I think so too. And he would have probably had predator too. Well, we'll see what happens. Yeah, he would have had predator. Yeah, I think. I think. So yeah, he did not get it. Yeah. yeah. Okay. So okay. he's holding Spending on to the focus on for defense. Ooh. And hit crit. Hit, hit, hit crit. Okay. So he's okay. So he's good. If he blanks out, oh. two evades, takes a hit crit. Jess is still I alive. I mean, Mark could not be happier with another that. Direct, direct hit. He's another down direct. to one. Oh, my God. Oh, okay. So now everything is on one health on the board. So, oh, my. You get, <laughs> you've got one health, and you've got one health, and you've got one health. <laughs> Come on, how much closer can this so game here's, get? Here's Jess's Oh my one. god. I mean, crazier things have happened. Oh. Yeah, he's fine. Oof. So that was rough. Yeah, that was this is, rough. This is a really, really tough spot for Mark to be in. So that direct hurts. Well, you know what? If he wouldn't have gotten the double of AIDS, he would have been dead. Yep. Yeah, that's true. No, that's not how that math works. I'm dumb. Because well, the direct hit would have been face is. down. It wouldn't have been oh, face yeah, up. So I'm you're dumb. right. You're right. Grr. I mean, what, maybe it was another direct hit. Well, you know, there are seven of them in the deck. Yeah, so you never know. They never come out when you need them, though. So, I mean, this is now almost insurmountable for Mark. Yeah. Mark so, to come I, back think, from. I think. Bulba's just going to go here and just stuff you. Yeah. Harry's going to. What is she going to do? She's gonna, she can't three sloop. I think. Hard uh, one. That's stress. I run. think you one bank. Oh, you're right. She's stressed because yeah. of the. Uh... I think, or you know, you know, you you could one hard and then oh, no, the barrel roll that Martin. way. Martin, the stress is yeah, on exactly. So I think Martin is gonna. I think close his foils one bank and then barrel roll left or right. Um, if you barrel roll right, you could possibly block Gurry. Mm -hmm. If you barrel roll left, it might get you out of Fen's arc, depending on what Fen. Uh, sorry, Boba's. Okay, arc, wait, so on what Boba does. Guri is worth... No. No, never mind. So he can't win. He's got to kill both to win, right? Yeah. Because Boba's, gotta kill both. Boba is 90... No, Boba's worth half 60... I mean, it's... Yeah, they're... No, he Boba can't. and he can't. Guri are almost even. Yeah, he can. Because he's got and half And by almost chest. even, I mean, <laughs> you know, like... More, more than a four-ship list. Yeah, like you said, one he's bank. closing his foils one bank that way. Yeah. And I think you barrel roll to the right as far back as possible. Yeah. Is he going to... Oh, oh he's not going to... He's not moving. He's not going to link. He wants his guns out. He's going for he's going for damage control. He's yeah. going to die. He's going to die on his own terms. I mean, he's got the protection of the rock. I like which, it. Which is plus... And now he's only getting one shot taken. Or taking one shot. <laughs> Mark's remembering that he has a target lock on Boba Fett. So now he's going to have know, a target lock. Fully. If he survives. If he survives. He's going uh, ha to have a fully modified. Tim wow. cannot stop. <laughs> <laughs> they're going they're, for they're it. They're remarking how much fun this game they've had. Yeah. Um, <laughs> <laughs> Mark's calling it that Tim yielded because he shook his hand. That's how it works. The first that person to extend the hand, right? That's how it works. Oh. 
and either way it's okay yeah so he's guaranteed and And, uh, uh, and tim takes it so that's that one yeah so that was an intense